Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome if you are new. Today we are going to be decorating that Christmas tree that is right behind me and of course it's going to have a Harry Potter theme. Honeydukes, actually. So before we get started, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and become a part of my magical friends. Let's go ahead and get into the video. Alright, yes, we are going to be decorating this Christmas tree and it is Honeydukes theme. I am so excited. I've been collecting little pieces here and there, going to some local craft stores. When I went to Universal, I picked up a few goodies and you would have seen that in my previous haul from that trip. And that's where I announced that I'm going to be doing a Honeydukes themed tree, but I am very excited to finally be doing it. And I have all my supplies here and next to me, I think you can kind of see a little bit of them but I'll give you a little overview of what everything is. I did get a few things from Hobby Lobby. I got some things from Target and then Universal. So let me go through all the items that we're gonna be putting on the Christmas tree and then we'll start decorating. All right, for the first item, which I think is a very important item, is my Honey Dukes ribbon that I got at Universal. This retails for $17 and it does have a wire on the edging and that is going to be helpful when we're putting it on the tree. Also have some ornaments. So this is my chocolate frog one. I got this at Universal, I believe last year or the year before. I didn't see it on my recent trip. Two Birdie Bots Every Flavor Beans ornaments and this is from Universal. Two more chocolate frog but different versions. These are the chocolate frog cards that are lenticular. We've got Dumbledore and Godric Gryffindor, and these retailed for $24. Next are my ornament sets. So I went with this pink set that I got at Target, and these were only $5 for a set of eight. Also got them in this mint color, and there's two different kinds. So there's glittery and then just shiny. The last ornament set is this really pretty white one with these little specks of glitter. I thought these were really pretty. Next are these ornaments that I got at Hobby Lobby and they are snowflakes with these really pretty little like almost like sprinkles throughout them and they're all a little bit unique. They have the sprinkles kind of throughout it. These retail for $2.99 and these reminded me of like the Birdie Bots Every Flavor Beans kind of color and candy-ish so that's why I picked these up. These gumball dispensers, they're so cute little ornaments. These are also from Hobby Lobby and they did remind me of Birdie Bot's kind of colors inside and they went with the kind of candy shop theme and these retail for $7.99 and all the Hobby Lobby stuff was 50% off. And then my last kind of ornament set, which aren't really ornaments, they're just little pieces, little filler pieces that you can put in your tree or they're good for wreaths as well. And these were $1.99, so I only got them for a dollar at Hobby Lobby since they were 50% off. And they just have a bunch of little candy pieces inside them, and I got a set of three of these as well. And then last but not least, <laughs> I got some ornament hooks, and these were from Walmart, and they were only 98 cents and I thought they were really pretty. Okay, so that was all the supplies that I'm going to be using to decorate the Christmas tree. I'm gonna start off with the ribbon. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this Honeydukes ribbon, start unspooling it, and then I'm going to be sticking it within the tree. I am gonna, I have a couple different techniques that I'm thinking about doing, but the first one doesn't require any cutting of the ribbon. <laughs> So I'm going to start with that one. I did see one though recently where you can kind of like cut them into like little segments and kind of pinch it like so. And then you just kind of place it throughout the tree. I might do that. I do have two spools of these as well. So if I need extra, I have that. Or if I mess up, I have an extra one. <laughs> but I want to try just kind of bringing it around and twirling it around the tree first and kind of laying it out that way and see if I like it or not. Okay, so I have it a little bit unspooled. I'm gonna start it in the back and I'm gonna use the Christmas tree like little stems, kind of fold them over something kind of like that and then pinch it to the ribbon to kind of have it hold in place. So that is my first pinch and then I'll start wrapping it around. I'm probably gonna have to move all around the tree to do this, so bear with me. I hope I'm showing the right angles as I'm doing it. So I just brought the tree a little bit forward away from the wall just to make it a little bit easier. And oh, it's looking so cute already. Oh, 
Okay, so I moved you a little bit closer so I can kind of show you the method that I'm doing. And I think I like it like this, so I'm going to continue doing it. So I am actually folding over the fake part of the Christmas tree because these are like just wires. So that's what's nice about using a fake Christmas tree. You can kind of manipulate it to do what you want it to do. And see, I pinched it here where I didn't pinch it here. I'm going to keep going where I'm like, don't pinch, pinch, don't pinch. See if I like it th that way. If I don't, I can always release it, but I am keeping it to hold in place. So I will have to keep some areas of the tree pinched, but since the front is what's going to be displayed, that's probably what I'll play with more, but I still pinch it throughout the back of the tree. And I really like how it looks. And I do have to say that I really love this quality of this ribbon. It's very nice. So it is on the more expensive side, but I feel like it was worth it because of how high quality the ribbon is. And it's exactly what I wanted it to be because it's a honeydew themed tree. So I am starting to run out of ribbon. And this was, I think, 15 feet. And this is a four foot Christmas tree. So I think it is actually just fine if I just had the one, but I did kind of keep it a little tighter. Like this probably could be moved up. I might change this move it up a little bit, kind of keep the gap not, like try to keep the gap more even. And this one can still stay here and end in the back. And I think one ribbon is gonna be sufficient for this. So we'll keep going and I'll show you the finished look for the ribbon. All right, so we have the very end of the ribbon and it's gonna end right here. If I wanted to cut off some more ribbon from another spool, it's just gonna cover the back and it's not gonna really need to come back up front. So I think I'm just gonna end it right here with the ribbon. So let me just secure it in place and I'll be done with that. All right, so now that I have the camera backed up, you can see how much that one spool of ribbon completed this tree. I still wanna fix this gap right here, bring this up just a little bit, and I think it'll look a little bit more even, maybe play with this little area, but I really like how this is coming out. And then once I fill it in with some ornaments, it's really gonna fill this tree out. Oh, I'm so excited, I'm really liking how this is all looking. All right, so this is how I like the ribbon. I'm gonna keep it like this. I think it looks so adorable. All right, let's go ahead and add some of the ornaments on it now. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with these ornaments first. Also, I don't think I'm going to use the hooks. I think I'm just gonna shove them in place like that, you can see, and just place them in here. Okay, so now I have them all placed in the tree. Here's a little overview look of it. Honestly, if you just wanted to do this, I think it would suffice. It looks so cute. But now we're just going to go ahead, add the little candy pieces, and see what I think. I wish I had more of these. These are actually really cute. Like if I could put another one here and another one up there, it would be nice, but I'm going to make do with what I got. All right next, I'm going to go ahead and add these little snowflake candy kind of little ornaments. It's looking so cute. Love it. All right, now for the gumball ornament. I'm gonna use these hooks for the candy gumball ornaments. All right, so I'm putting the last little gumball right up here. All right, so here's the tree so far. And this is just without the ornaments that I got at Universal. And I'm loving it. Like. If you just wanted to buy just the Honeydukes ribbon from Universal, that honestly makes the tree. But I do have these guys, so let's go ahead and add on all my Honeydukes candy. For the Birdie Bots Every Flavor Beans ornaments, it comes with this green ribbon, but I don't think I'm going to like how it looks on the tree. So I think I'm going to swap it out for this hook instead. Here it is without the green ribbon, and I think it looks much better just because that green really isn't going to go with the rest of the tree. All right, I'm going to hook it up there so it falls down below the ribbon. <sighs> this is cute. <laughs> the lighting of the tree definitely darkens this, but 
think you can get the gist. That looks so cute. What a perfect spot on the top of the tree. All right, let's go ahead and add the rest of them. All right, there we have it is our finished Christmas tree. The only thing I want to change now is now I see it all together. That star looks way too high up. So we are going to bring that down real quick. All right, so I brought the star down and that looks so much better. I'm going to give you a close up, but this is it backed away. But let's get closer. Here is the top of the tree. And if you're wondering where I got the star from, that was also from Target. I think it was five or $10. Look how gorgeous. I'm so happy with how this came out. All the details. It's just so stunning. I am obsessed with this tree. I am so, so happy with how this tree came out. The Honeydukes colors are just so beautiful. I am going to cherish this forever. This tree is new. I usually just do one main tree in my living room, but I've always wanted to do like a Honeydukes themed tree. And I feel like this was such a great way to do it because since it's a smaller scale, you don't need as much to fill it in. And like you were seeing throughout the video, you don't have to go out and get those like licensed ornaments. The ones that I got at Universal, they were definitely more on the expensive side. Like the Christmas tree itself, this is a pre-lit flocked tree. I got at Michael's, I think it was originally $70 or $75 and then it was like 40% off that day. So I believe I only paid around 35, 40 bucks for this tree. So for the tree itself to be like less expensive than a lot of the ornaments, like I got two ornaments at Honey Dukes when I was at Universal and they're 24 or $25 a piece and that's just as much as the tree. So that is definitely ridiculous. So if you want to save some money, I would say just kind of splurge on the ribbon because the ribbon really makes the tree pop out and stand out that it is honeydew. So if you want to save some money, my recommendation to make this tree would be just to invest in the Honeydukes ribbon and then get those other pieces at stores like Target. Those ornament balls are only $5 for an eight pack and I ended up getting three of them. You definitely would just need at least the pink and the blue to kind of make that Honeydukes color stand out. So you could even make it a little less expensive by not buying the extra white pack, but even so, Three packs for just $15 it was a great deal. And then just try to find some candy ornaments throughout the stores while you're looking. Go to places like Walmart, your local craft stores, Michaels, Hobby Lobby, Target's a great place to check and just kind of look for ornaments that are either just candy themed or you could just look for like the color scheme, the pink and the mint. So those are some other options as well. I am just loving how this Honeydukes tree turned out. I'm so, so happy, but that is going to conclude today's video. I'll leave the links to all the products that I can find down in my description box below. If you are curious where to find them, including the tree and the star and everything, I'll Put it all in the description box if you want to try to recreate the same tree. Also share with me if you guys do a Harry Potter Christmas tree down in the comments below. I would love to hear what you guys do. If you have any theme, I think like an owl post Christmas tree would be super cute. A lot of the ones at Universal, that kind of gave me like so much inspiration. I want to have like seven Christmas trees in my house. <laughs> maybe one day. Right now I've got two. So let me know if you guys do one and leave them down in the comments below. But as always, if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your bell notification so you're notified during my next video upload. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye!